Good morning. Welcome to 5-Minute Morning Devotions with Adobe. Today, our devotion is going to come from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, which says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. R. A. Torre says this, Do not let Satan deceive you into being afraid of God's plans for your life. Do not let Satan deceive you into being afraid of God's plans for your life. I am reminded of the parable of the talents which you will find in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 14 to 30. And in this parable, there's a master who has three servants. The first one, he gave five talents. The second one, he gave two. The third one, he gave one. The five came back to him, doubling um, his talents. He says, Master, you gave me five, I came back with ten. The second one had two, came back with four. However, the last one, had one, but he came back with excuses. And his excuse was, I was afraid. I was afraid. So I hid my talent. Do you not know that the plan, the plans that God has for you, the talent he has given you, the calling in your life, is not only to help you, but to help other people as well. When you let fear stop you from accomplishing that, you are honestly accomplishing the plans of the enemy. You have made fear your God. You have bowed down to fear and made it your God and obeyed fear. According to 2 Timothy one three one of verse um chapter one verse seven it says that God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power, love, and sound mind. When you listen to fear and don't do what God has called you to do, not only that you stay miserable and never ever fulfilling what you have been put on earth to do. But also those that are connected to you, those that that are in this world that will be helped and be blessed by you doing what you're supposed to do, will also stay miserable. So this morning, get up, look a fear in the eye, and say, you will not be my God anymore. And look to God. Who is your helper? Who loves you unconditionally? And say, Lord, help me. Give me the grace, the boldness, the courage to accomplish what you have called me to. This is is my prayer for you this morning. I, I came across this prayer and I think this prayer is so appropriate for what we are doing this morning. And this is my prayer for you. When you hear a call, May you awaken to God's voice. When you awaken to God's voice, may you say yes. When you say yes, may you follow faithfully. When you follow faithfully, may you give your life away. When you give your life away, may God's people be blessed. Go out this morning. Dust that fear off of you. No matter what excuses the fear is trying to use to stop you and say, listen, my God loves me unconditionally and I'm going to obey God instead of fear. God bless you.